Hi, uh, my name is Cash. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you uh, how a domain admin or domain user can access our SAN environment using HTTP, on Tepi or SSH, or even can be auto support. I've, I've seen in, in a lot of environments um, when the system been implemented, they've been using a default password set up by NetApp such as admin and ABC123 for a long time and nobody changes it. Um, you just call it a bit laziness um, and it that can get and this can be exposed to a lot of people who, and who knows the password and they can access our system it's a bit so it's basically a security issue so first in this video I would like to show you um, I will create a username called cache in our domain and the domain is called demo.netapp.com and this username cache should be able to access our um, SAN filer or SAN cluster which is called cluster1 uh, using uh, HTTP or SSH. Uh, let's start it now. Let's show you now. So just to make a point before that that cache is not able to access it as as we haven't created the account yet. Uh, let's create account in our active directory. As the active directory is already open. Oops. Just say this account was there. I'll just delete it again just to create another one. Uh, new user call it cash don't worry about last name this is for demo purpose cash again and next uh, tick off this user must change password at next logon because we don't want to do that just now uh, create a password whatever you like and click next done as you can see uh, a user has been created uh, in our domain called demo.netapp.com yeah so we can use a demo or demo dot we can see that how we'll be logged into our ssh or um, on tepi um, let's for exercise purpose let's see we can log on to our cluster using a default password which is that uh, which is uh, an admin as you can see and we can access that uh, close that and let's see we can access our SSH uh, open and by default admin net app. yep as you can see that we can access a uh, with our username admin let's give access the user we created called cache um, to access our ssh or and on tapi and http so for that purpose let me uh, make the screen bigger uh, the first just to find out who can access our sign environment just now just go to security login show as you can see, um, there there's a vServer SIFS SVM, and in that SVM, we got user called VSS admin uh, can access on in SSH authentication method is password role name is VS admin account is not locked, and 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 in the, our other vServer cluster one, we have got demo administrator uh, who can access uh, on tapi main. SSH in a default which is admin so we'll be creating we'll be giving access to our user cache uh, and we can also create an AD group in our active directory and we can add users in that edit AD uh, folder and and they will be able to access our environment so just let's create only individual for cache uh, security if you hit tab it will go there to log in, create, dev um, again, username cache. So in this case, we type our demo. This is our domain name, and the username is cache. Uh, you have to be careful. This is case sensitive, so type the username as what you have created in Active Directory. Tab again, application. We're using uh, here. Um, on tapi 
authentication method domain role admin and v server cluster tab again one and enter and we can see that we've created a login for cache we can access on on type application same like above command we will create for ssh and, and http so i just do up arrow and go back to uh, change the application to oops um, ssh that's done same thing again we do for HTTP that's done if you go up here again and see the login created so secret login show as you can see that um, in v server cluster one demo cache demo cache and dot HTTP on the penis access just to find out this is working um, let's log on to our um, GUI on command system manager uh, just change this to demo cache and the password we created yep we can access that as you can see that demo cache can access our cluster same like this we try to access our ssh so we just create a new session here and launch the cluster port you open and login as demo Oops. enter and the password okay success so we have just just to reiterate that what we have done we created a user cache and the cache is a part of domain and he can and that user can access our uh, sand um, uh, filer uh, which is a cluster um, and also our ssh and using http and ssh port um, if you go back again i will show you how to also uh, delete and this username so you just go create and delete cache to access http so if, similarly you can delete for ssh and on type if you go to uh, on command again and try it again demo We, we're not able to access HTTP now because you have deleted that account. Um, I hope you like this video and it will be informative for you. Uh, similarly, in my last video, I've shown you to change the domain, change the default admin password. Uh, looking forward to see you again in my next video. Goodbye.